Guys, how are you doing, Rebecca? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Um, I'm going to uh, begin by just, I mean, Beth is a great character here with so much kind of nuance. And this is a film that gives you as an actress so much to kind of work with. You must have been so thrilled to have landed this part. And what, what was it that initially attracted you to, to taking on this role? I don't think I can say it much better than you just did, actually. <laughs> Um, that was all of that is correct. Yes, <laughs> she's she's a great role. Um, yeah, I, I I think I'm probably also a sucker for punishment. You know, there, there was there's a real challenge to this one. There's not many people to prop me up in a scene. There wasn't many people. You know, I knew that a lot of it was there was a lot of responsibility on whether or not I could deliver something, and that sort of frightened me. And I think that was you know definitely appealing. Um, and and it was hard, actually. I wasn't wrong. It was hard, but good, hard. <laughs> because I'm interested in the idea of playing loneliness on the screen, because Beth is mm. very alone. She's had her, her partner die. She's in this kind of big house all by herself. Mm. I mean, she has, she has friends that there are people in her life, but her loneliness is quite striking. Is that quite a difficult emotion to play? Because on a movie set, you're never alone. There's always countless you're people. You're never right? alone. Yeah, so no, how, you're, how you're never alone, and especially actors, you know, they're really like, you know, coddled and protected and wrapped up in cotton wool and constantly being offered cups of tea. So you, you don't feel lonely at all. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, I don't know. It's an interesting question. I, I don't, I'm quite a solitary person, if truth be told. Like, I really need a lot of alone time to maintain my sanity. So I probably feel comfortable understanding that headspace, um, which is different to being lonely, but somewhere in the ballpark um yeah I don't I don't know it, it, it's not I, I didn't think about it an awful lot I just sort of did it it was one of those you mentioned how it was obviously quite a difficult role I mean you've done some films like this which I'm, I'm sure must take you to kind of difficult places in your mind there must be on the whole pretty exhausting experiences to be in that headspace every day and obviously like Christine is another example of a film I imagine yeah. test like that um but you're looking at your career you do seem to move between roles like this and they're more light-hearted parts it may be more adventurous or kind of comedic films is that a conscious move on your part to kind of mix between the light and, and the darkness yeah I think it's I think it speaks to my character honestly I think that I, I know and also it speaks to where I stand on on acting and storytelling I don't think that you can have one without the other I think there's you know there's always a bit of lightness in something very dark and there's always something dark in the silliest of comedies somewhere there's a grain of darkness that's been turned into comedy you know so I I think that that is that's that is important to me I mean a horror also, film I couldn't do ones like this uh, all the time I'd lose my mind <laughs> Um, I was going to say, horror films have this remarkable ability to work as an allegory. And this is very much exploring grief. And I remember I saw the film The Babadook, mm. which really studied depression mm -hmm. in the form of a monster. Uh, what, what do you think it is about that? Why do you think it is that sometimes it, it takes sort of genre movies and sort of the, the tropes of a kind of genre movie to kind of best explore humanity in a way? Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I think there are some things that are, are difficult to hold and encapsulate and articulate and you know, I guess it's the same reason why we have poetry or had poetry. We don't much anymore, but it's, sort of, you know, some some things about our existence are just too too huge to tackle head on or or we try to, but we don't manage it very well. And and certainly with things like, you know, mental health issues, we, we still have a hard time talking about these things. And sometimes it's it's uh, it's more direct to, to approach it indirectly. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to talk about passing quickly as well because I can't wait to mm. see. So I mean, you've always struck me uh, as an actress who would eventually write and direct, and it doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Doing it. And it also doesn't surprise me that it sounds like you're incredibly good at it. But was it an ambition that you've harboured for some time to get behind the lens? Yeah, yeah, forever. I mean, I don't. I do know why it's taken me so long. It's a combination of things. It's you know, I I had a very, I have I have a very successful acting career, and that's not exactly something to 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 turn your nose up to and and once you get on that train it's very difficult to get off you know you're like well I've got to take the next part and then the next part and then the next part but forever I've had a little voice in the back of my head going you know what you really want to do <laughs> so it's been it's been a long time um but I'm not giving up acting but I'm definitely going to carry on directing and writing 100% I love it I mean, you, the cast you've assembled there. I, Andre Holland has the best voice in Hollywood. Oh. I, I could oh. listen to him all day. I mean, you've got to listen to him all day. Honey. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful.
Yeah. No, he's, a, he's an extraordinary well, actor. He's so great. Everyone, everyone in the movie is great. They're really, really, I still can't quite believe that cast of people. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for your time today, Rebecca, and best of luck with the release Thank of things and the passing too. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!